Hey guys, it's Kevin from HailGraphics.com. Hope your day is going well. I recently saw a trailer that they're going to be doing a reboot of the Mortal Kombat movie, and I used to play the Mortal Kombat games fairly frequently. So what I thought I would do today is somewhat of a tutorial and kind of walk you through how I go about drawing Sub-Zero as he's depicted in the new movie. So what I'm going to start with is I've got some stock photos because I want to try to find as good ones as I can in order for drawing reference. References. And the main one I could find is this front view and this somewhat dark side view to try to give me some reference for the details on him. And the main things I see is I get a little bit of the side of the mask and then he's got these shoulder pads. So I'm going to try to construct that area of him. The next thing I'm doing is I went onto YouTube and I found a 3D model of Sub-Zero from a previous game. And what I did is I paused the video basically in the pose I wanted to use. So now I look back at my photos again and I'm gonna more or less translate the pose that I looked at in the video, but also trying to combine the new details that you see in the mask. And I am gonna keep this somewhat uh, basic, so don't overcomplicate this too much for any of those who are trying to follow along with uh, drawing this yourself. So I'm mostly working out the eyes and the nose, and then I'm gonna start on that big metal piece that makes up his face mask. And I have the pictures printed off to the side, so I have a continued reference to those details. Again, I'm just staying real basic with the details. There's lots of little tiny micro details in the mask that I'm not going to try to make. The main, I wanna get the main areas, like there's these holes in the side of the mask where you can kind of see black through them. Um, the mask is made of metal. It's got that grill in the front area where the mouth is um, that has more of the blue in it. And his headpiece almost looks like rubber, but with these kind of almost like, looks like strips of muscle type of designs on it. So it's a very interesting texture. and I'm tweaking the head until I get it the way I want. If you're doing this in pencil, obviously you might have to be erasing to adjust until you like the size of the head or the eyes. In Illustrator, it's nice though, because I can always adjust my lines if I feel like I made a mistake. So far, it's worked pretty good. Now I'm going to start integrating the shoulder pads because they kind of, the angle that I'm doing the picture from, they're kind of blocking some of the neck. And I want that to come forward as if he's turned to the side, almost looking behind him or looking over his shoulders. And I notice with the shoulder pads, there's multiple plates kind of overlapping each other. And when you look close at the plates there, they have this really thin rim. Um, I'm not doing it exact. You know, again, I am simplifying this somewhat, but mainly I'm going for for getting the general shapes and position things. Somewhat of a curved design going along the bottom of the main shoulder guard. I'll start to throw in the center of the back, keep checking, zooming in and out, make sure it looks right to me. So yeah, the top of that very top plate, they just have this thin guard that kind of goes up towards the neck. And then the next plate overlaps it, and then the final plate overlaps that. Finish the back and get a little piece of the shoulder itself coming down the arm a bit. And you'll see I compared it to the original screenshot I took of from that YouTube video to see if the, how the pose looks similar. And now from here, I'm just kind of speeding through to show I'm going through and shading light and dark grays and then also some light and dark blues. And I'm going to somewhat blend it. I don't want the uh, shoulder pads color to look too different than the body. I want there to kind of be this cold look all the way through. So there'll be definitely be blue on the gray uh, for the back and the mask. Put a little bit of a shine on there with some lighter blue. And again, I'm kind of frosting the headpiece. Keep working with the lighting. So I'm somewhat integrating multiple light sources here. If you look at the bottom of the plates, they get a bit lighter again. And you know, if you're doing this, you can color it you know, any way you want. You can be as detailed as you want. I'm trying to keep it somewhat basic. I'm not gonna be drawing all those little intricate designs in the face mask. Just kind of trying to give it a shine, um, the light source so it looks somewhat like it could be made of metal. Make sure to keep adding shadows and light, kind of repeating the process until it looks the way I want it to look. And now work on that grill in the front, and I've just added a, a background with a gradient, fading from black to blue, basically. And I left the skin more of a blue than it was in the movie, just to kind of separate him from a normal person. 
And again, highlighting. Now that I have the background, um, I can tweak the lighting more to get more contrast in the picture. And another thing I noticed, I did end up looking at a couple other pictures, but he's got this textured armor that he wears on his chest and back that looks like it was inspired by samurai, but um, also looks somewhat like chainmail. The pattern I was talking about on his back, it almost looks like arrows. I'm not doing it exactly how it is, but basically a line of arrows. And if I repeat those and kind of shift them down almost like brick, you start to see this detailed pattern that you can use on armor. So basically that's what I have going there. Now I'm going to actually curve that around the shape of his back by redrawing those. And I make it black first and I'm gonna actually just use the eraser here and I'll start drawing in you know the around the contour of his back these little arrow type structures and keeping them offset like almost like a brick pattern and so here's the final product I ended up adding a few little highlights on top of those uh, arrow patterns and there's a better shot of it. So let me know what you think. Did you find this helpful? Do you like the drawing? Feel free to comment any requests. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to see more. I try to bring out a new video every week. I've got a lot of Fortnite requests, so I will be working on a lot of Fortnite drawings. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. <laughs>